Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. Today I'm in the beautiful Coromandel. I've been invited out fishing with this bunch of young champions for an awesome day's fishing on board the Muscle Barge Snapper Safari and the plan is pretty straightforward. We want to catch a decent feed of snapper to take home for all our friends and families. Just taking the absolute bare essentials on this mission. I am taking my soft baiting rod which is downstairs but I'm taking my little blue hand line, uh, some big BKK circle hooks, some little ball sinkers, a few little, few little other bits and pieces, a few little beads and things and uh, a handful of soft baits and a bit of spare trace line because the donkeys around here are notorious for busting you off in the muscle lines. Morning, morning, morning. Today's journey starts at the crack of dawn at a park in Thames where we all meet up, pile onto the vans and start the awesome journey down the coast road to the Coromandel. Oh no! I just saw you with all the sausages, that looks like an important job. <laughs> the essentials. <laughs> oh, got a few offenders already, I see. It looks like they're popular around here, look at them. Terrible. <laughs> Some more of them. <laughs> has arrived we're just making our way down the wharf where the charter boats are waiting and uh, we head out to the mussel farms and do a bit of fishing the mission's on If we see today was that. Yeah, we only sunk twice last week. So <laughs> Sweet. Uh, up in the uh, seven fish each, 30 centimetres size limit. Short and sweet, let's go. Let's go. We're going, we're going to just have to pop before then, man. Yeah, let's get amongst it. We didn't jump on the fast boat for nothing. It's about a 20 minute cruise out to the mussel farm where we'll be fishing today, so it's the perfect opportunity to prepare my little blue hand line and get some bait prepped so that as soon as we get there, we're ready to deploy. Today, I'm gonna to use what is pretty much my favorite snapper rig, which is quite simply a BKK circle hook tied on to the end of the line with a uni knot. It's quite deep where we're fishing today and there will be a little bit of current so I'm also going to use a quarter ounce ball sinker. For bait we have a mixture of mullet, squid and pilchards. On our way out to the fishing spot we were blessed to have a brief encounter with a few local orca whales. Bit of whale watching, eh? Keep us on to it. Getting close, Skipper. Right, Skipper reckons we're just about at our first spot, so. Let's get amongst it. One of those. 
those. First penny of the day. Shot, bro. Nice fish. Nice penny. Oh, the bird is a bird, isn't it? Oh, the bird. Oh, see you already. First one's free. First one's on my butt. So you get your tips. Back he goes. First one goes back to Tangaroa. I don't have to wait too long until ba bam It's my turn. I'm hooked up. On the board. Hooked up to another good one. Why are you really good? That's good. That's good. Another one. Yeah, I think you got mine too. Nice fish. I'm already on again. That's a good eater anyway, bro. Oh, you got two at once. Bottom one's a good one, eh? Yeah, bottom's a good one. And it's gut bag. Right up in there. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to reach in there and get it up. I'll show you, bro. Can I see you for a sec, bro? Got an eyebrow there. Stab in there. Things were going very well. Everywhere I looked, there was fish coming aboard everywhere. And then it was my turn. Kwabam! Missy Tero. Never mind that though, the young fellas all around me were on very good form and were starting to catch some top quality table fish. Look at these looting. Is that the half of the crew? Two at a time even. And over in my corner, Missy Tero. Not bad at all. Might be fish of the day so far. 40. Solid 40. I've got the oldest. Not bad at all, bro. Not bad at all. Definite keeper that one, bro. Good fish. Yeah, let that one go. Well, bam. It's a good one. Don't lose them now, folks. I know, eh? Imagine that. <laughs> nice fish. I've managed to get my hand line into a big bugger up of a tangle and the lads just next to me were catching some top quality snapper. So I decided once I'd sorted out this mess, I was going to switch over to my rod and join in on the action. Nice one bro. 
Yeah, it's a solo gun. Oh, I see that. You got him? Yeah. Oh, battle reeling. Looks like a pretty solid one over there. Silent assassin over here knocking over a few good ones. There. No, that's a nice eating fish. Oh, a little fatty. Yum. Fish, bro, well done. <laughs> mean one. It's a solid sort of seven pound. Some solid fish coming aboard. Boys are doing well. Beautiful, beautiful fish, bro, well done. Up to another donkey. It's a good fish, ma'am. Bro, it's got some weight to it, eh? Big one. Get him on the camera. Yeah, there yeah. he comes. Another big one, bro. We want the net for that one. Don't lift him out. Just hold him in the water there. Good fish. Well done. Another donkey. Check it out. Nice red. Alright, better get a line down there. I'm missing out on all the action. This champion on my left is on a bit of a roll. This is his third solid hookup in a row. Nice fish. It's another solid eater. That's your third nice eater in a row, eh, bro? Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Just knocking them down. I was slaying them. Come on! Double two. Double banger, bro. Two at a time. That top one's a keeper, bro. Good work, man. I'm tired. <laughs> That there is the premium bait, bro. It's the best snapper bait on the boat right now. 
rip that off and take it back on. Chop it in a couple of pieces and put it on your hooks, bro. Presentation's key. Uh, hook placement there and there. Beautiful. If that doesn't catch a big fish, I'll be surprised. Good luck. In a dynamite little session, nice and quick. Mission complete. The fishing part of the mission anyway. I think these guys still have a couple to go over there, but we're officially binned up. Right, let's have a little look at the bin. Not bad at all, eh? Yay, snack time. Yum. <laughs> it's beautiful guys, it's beautiful. Look at the crew, we've got a whole crew. Sweet. Good mission, eh, boys? All good. And just like that, the fishing portion of the day was completed. So we all piled back into the vans and headed down the road to a friend's place. He'd kindly offered to accommodate us so that we could fillet all of these beautiful fish so they could be divvied up and taken home to everybody's families. And while those of us who were qualified to operate knives took care of that, other people jumped on the barbecue and most of the young champions grabbed the ball and had a bit of a run around. The whole crew on the tools, bags of fillets starting to stack up. A few to get through. Yeah. This is a big job. With the filleting done and bellies full of fritters and sausages, we piled back into the vans for one last time to make the short journey back to Thames. I want to say a massive thank you to Gareth, the Thames Community Constable who organised this trip and made everything today possible, and of course thank you very very much for inviting me along. It was an absolute pleasure to meet all of these champions today and we had a great day out on the water. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.